okay, I'm gonna fix up my son's little ceramic can that fell off its counter and broke into a whole bunch of pieces. And the main thing is I collected all the pieces. I'm gonna use this super glue here. There's two kinds. There's just regular super glue. I'm using Gorilla Glue, which I kinda of like because it's a little cheaper. And then there's super glue gel, see that? I prefer that super glue gel because it sort of uh, holds things together a little better. First thing I want to do is I want to uh, put a little spit on this. Uh, that's the first thing I do because wet things seem to stick together a little better with super glue. So I'm going to spit on both of these a little bit. Just get a little bit of spit on them or you can put water on them if you don't want to be so gross. But I think it's cooler to use spit. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I know exactly where things fit. See how that kind of went in and just snapped right in place? That's what you want to do is you want to kind of test it out, make sure it's clean enough. I'm going to put my gel on here. Pretty good amount of it. When I did, you could use rubber gloves when you're doing this, but I don't mind getting a little bit of this stuff on my fingers as long as I can wipe it off quick. Usually it comes off within half a day or so. Sometimes I'll just keep my fingers moving. Okay, so I got a pretty good amount of glue there. I have to really squeeze this thing hard. This gel is a little bit dried out. So it's in there, it's looking pretty good. Okay, so now I'm just sort of holding this firmly in place for a good 45 seconds or so. If there's excess, I could just wipe it off. Right, that's looking pretty good. The other thing I might do is just stick a little extra gel on it and rub it in with my fingers. I just tap, tap, tap. Get it down inside the cracks a little bit more. And then rub it off. Make sure it's pretty well cleaned. Okay, you can see I put that together. It's not bad. When I rub the little extra gel in there, it kind of fills in the hole a little bit. And you hold it together nice and firmly. Usually you can get a pretty darn good fit. So that should be pretty strong. I'm gonna put a little bit of two-part epoxy to fill in that little chip right there that's looking kind of nasty. There's only one spot where it fits perfectly. So I had to really kind of tinker with it here to make sure, ooh, right there, see? Pretty much the whole crack goes away, not quite. There's a little chip there. So anyway, that's where I'm gonna stick it together, make sure I get it in that spot, hold it for a while, it should be good. Super glue gel is the best because it, it's pretty thick. It won't just run willy-nilly over everything. Okay, with that, I'm going to try to get it lined up where I saw it a second ago. All right, I can feel that's where it goes, right there. So now I'm just going to hold it really strong. As long as you don't move it, it should stick together. If you start wiggling it, then the seal will break. So now I might use the other kind of super glue just to get down inside those little cracks, those little hairline cracks, a little bit better. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that in. That kind of pushes it down inside the cracks just enough. As long as I keep moving my hand and then kind of wipe my hand off, it's definitely creating a little crust here. You can kind of see, see that crust. So that's the only bad thing about the glue, but I don't know, that doesn't really bother me too much. I wanna seal this little gap right here. The way to do that is take a paper towel or any type of mesh-like material. I like using anything that has polyester in it, fabric-wise, works really well. That's more of a plastic material. So I'm gonna take this little piece of paper towel here, and then what I do is I stick that over the crack and put a little bit of the more wet super glue, not the gelatin type, and then that will hold it really pretty well. It's kind of like a Band-Aid. Okay, you can hear my pug dog in the background snorting sorry about that all right anyway i'm back to the project at hand <laughs> get it and then i'm going to just put this more liquid form so you can put it on there and tap 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 it down and it will make a nice kind of like band-aid going on here see almost like see-through plastic it looks more like skin almost see let me do it here again this time I'll put a little bit of spit on it and put a bunch more of the clear non-gelatinous super glue. They do this a lot in woodworking. It's pretty amazing. They can take an old burled piece of wood and it could have all sorts of chips out of it. It can actually start to crack wide open. And then they'll take this uh, super glue and pour it all over the wood burl and all of a sudden it's just like pretty amazing and it fills in any cracks. 
and then they can keep doing the wood turner stuff like that to make it the shape they want it all right now my fingers are definitely starting to stick a little bit more glue my scissors shut i've done that before so it's looking pretty good there's still some chips in it that i would like to fix a few hairline cracks that i'd like to hide you know this looks pretty bad over here where it broke busted you see a lot of cracks so I will just paint that in a minute, but first I'm going to use a little bit of good old two-part epoxy here. It's going to look kind of gray. So I'm going to mix that up over here with a little toothpick. It's going to look kind of ugly, but I am going to paint it. I've got some, some acrylic paints here. Okay, so I got the two-part epoxy here, and then you want equal part of the hardener and mix that together. Get a little of that in there. Push it down in a second. Then I'll just kind of rub it in a little bit like that. Down inside that crack a little bit better. Rub it in. Well, that's going to set up pretty quick, so I want to make sure I wipe out any excess. Okay, I put together a bunch of acrylic paint colors here that I think would fill in these little gaps and cover up the, the dark epoxy. Probably if I were to do it better, and I would go and get more of a white epoxy. Probably be easier to paint that, wouldn't it? Using the paint to fill in spots. Okay, I finally found a pretty good blend of a little bit of orange, brown, a little bit of yellows. It would be a little hard for someone to notice. So well, you get this super glue on your finger, it's sort of nasty. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna massage it a little bit, which kind of busts it up, makes it a little bit crinkled up. As soon as I do that, little pieces start coming off, see? Rub it, massage it, and then it, it's just going to start coming off. But if you want to make it go faster, you just use some of this like, steel kind of stuff they use to clean dishes with. I'm not giving you the middle finger. I'm just trying to show you that it's all clean. All the uh, super glue came off when I used that little scrubber right there on it. Okay, I wanted you to see my uh, glasses here. These are just really cheap plastic glasses. I got them for the computer and for reading to see their bifocals. Well, of course they snapped right away. And one thing I've learned is if you use any kind of polyester, something made out of plastic or nylon, they work really well as a sort of a band-aid. You just stick some super glue in there and don't get it on your lens because you can't get it off. Press the uh, piece of, in this case it was just a t-shirt. I stuck it on there and next thing you know, it's super strong. Is a really good way to repair a frame. You could probably do it a lot prettier and neater than this. Pick a color that's pretty similar, paint it up. They'd probably never even notice. So that's another great tip for the use of super glue, which is a pretty amazing super glue. The gel or just regular runny old super glue. Keep the lid on tight, otherwise it will tend to dry out. But this is really good stuff. It's amazing what you can make with it. All sorts of fixes that are very handy.